Hello, ASPV, ASPV class of 2020. This is Miss Terry Jo. For about half of you, I was your kindergarten teacher back in 2008, I think. That sounds about right. Wow, I can't believe you're graduating. Oh my gosh. And um, I really wanted to be there because you're awesome and I wanted to celebrate you. Uh, but obviously because of circumstances, you are doing graduation different than usual. And um, you were always an unusual bunch of kids. So it doesn't surprise me that you're just blowing the roof off of how you're doing 2020 graduation, <laughs> like the whole generation. Um, and I hope that's a, I, I do trust, as, as painful as it's been, I'm sure for things to be different. Um, I hope you know that that difference is a lot of the specialness of who you are. That is um, the gift that you came to share was the way you see the world differently, the things you want to bring to it, the things you want to change, the things you want to inspire and create and design and contribute. So I hope you know that that's really what that is for all the, the kids graduating in 2020, this is a call to your better angel nature that you are here to change the world. And it's very obvious we need some pretty major changes right now. So I'm excited for your future. Um, when I looked at the list of names, I just was, my heart was so full seeing so many that I recognize and um, so many new ones as well. And I hope you all are connected and stay connected in ways because really this is about um, collaborating and um, working together to make a better world. So some of you will go off into different schools and different cities and different countries even to pursue education and pursue um, careers and um, callings that really speak to your heart and I just um, my encouragement is that you remember the love and the curiosity and the mm, helpfulness that you had as a five-year-old because I certainly remember it I was very blessed to teach at the American School for um, three years and also be the school counselor Go Team V! For those of you that remember, um, that was a really an incredible program that the parents and teachers and I did with you. It was so um, uh, wonderful to learn about kindness and compassion and friendship and um, gratitude and all the qualities that really make up being a human and um, also to learn about our emotions and to express them honestly and authentically. And um, so I just want to, like, that would be my message to you is live out that heart-centeredness that you had so naturally as a five-year-old. Um, of course, sharpen your mind and go out there and learn things um, on the mental level, but don't forget your heart. Don't forget your emotions. Um, they really do inform us and they connect us. And I picked a piece of a reading that I wanted to share with you um, just because I feel like it fits uh, for a message for you for this particular class. It's called The Paradoxical Commandments. And it's by Dr. Kent M. Keith. And it was actually out on the side of the wall at um, Mother Teresa's Children's Home in Calcutta. It goes like this. People are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest men and women with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs but follow top dogs. Fight for underdogs anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyway. Give the world the best you've got and you'll get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you've got anyway. 
So that's my special message to you. Be true to yourself. Always come back to center. If you get too far out there in beliefs and ideas and patterns and behaviors, which can happen to us as adults, come right back into your heart, to the essence of who you are, and keep a picture of yourself when you were five years old somewhere around in your house so that you can always look at the essence of who you are. I see you and I love you all. Congratulations.